Human freedom's fundamental, and justice ain't right. Equality's that thin line between wrong and right. When the earth is denuded, her creatures oppressed, then justice and freedom put to the test. We say freedom, freedom will come. Welcome freedom. Um, my name's Mark Newham, um, from the Death and Custody Watch Committee. I'll be the MC for uh, today. Um, we, what we want to do to begin with is to uh, call on um, Kumara Uncle Ben Taylor to give us a welcome to, to country. Uh, but before that, Glenn Moore will uh, play uh, Didgeridoo. track that they grow up and we as Noongar our people and we are all part of that sacred water that ran by surface. For thousands of years, culture, religion and spirituality, we have lived in that dream time. And you know, I was at Jagan ceremony yesterday, quite a few of you were there too, and I remembered back when I held his skull as an elder, Noongar, with the other Noongar elders. 
this man was executed by Wadmer. No justice done, and going right back to the current issues of today. Our brother who died up there in that van, and also Carl Woods, John Pat, Dumidi in Queensland. Still knows no justice. But before I go on, I would like to say for all of us to stand in a minute silence. I forgot about that. Thank you. And I would like to congratulate. I don't know whether she's here today, Alison, uh, MP, uh, Green's MP, Alison Examon. You know, a beautiful article in the Sunday Times today, you know. And also Ben Wyatt, if he's here. I congratulate him for what he put about Mr. Ward and what happened leading up to today. And so, you know, he's going back to Yagan's 1880s, 1833 execution. There's no justice being done. And today, Ben Wyatt said, as if he's here, he'll say in his own words what happened. How they went across there and got a top lawyer instead of adding it out to a jury where we can all, you know, we know what happened and where these people should have been in jail. Appalling death of Mr. Ward. And you know, and it's still going on. Where is the justice for us, the our people? I've suffered 60 years of racism in this country. Whether you're half caste, quarter caste, or a full blood, as you know, I know you are still branded a nigger by that A.O. Neville government. And I wonder what's the difference. We are still downtrodden, no justice, and we must come together as people. We want revenge? No, we want justice. See what's done. All over Australia, Queensland is screaming out for justice. Palm Island, New South Wales, here in Western Australia, Carl Woods, John Pat, many more. We look at our young people, children coming up. My little granny is there. And to know, you know, that they will grow up and they will hear stories from us. Appalling what's happened to justice for the Aboriginal people, no justice at all. As I stood there at Jagan's burial yesterday, I thought back, 188 years, 170 years, hmm? this man has finally come home. I was at the airport when they brought him back. The elders have gone now, Ken Culver, all them others, Clary Isaac. But the fight must go on, and you people must carry it. We, the elders, are getting older, getting weary, but it must go on. So what do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now! Thank you.